Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. As always, I'm your host Mark, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Sergeant Cup, Wheeljack, and Voyager Class Robots in Disguise Bulkhead. Um, now, I, I got to tell you, for the most part, I've I've largely ignored the Transformers Prime line. Um, I was really excited when I saw the prototypes of the figures. Um, you know, a year and a half ago or, or, or so, or however it was, and um, couldn't wait to get them. I, I love figures that are um, based on, you know, animated works, that the figures themselves look animated. Um, but when I finally saw them in stores, uh, I just really was kind of um, disappointed with them, and I, and I really didn't pick any up. The only one I really wanted was the um, was, was Bulkhead, but you know, unfortunately we never got... Um, the, the first edition bulkhead here in America. Um, so since I couldn't find him, he was the only one I wanted. I pretty much passed on this line and all but ignored it until a couple weeks ago when I saw this guy in store, Sergeant Cup. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Cup, um, the, the character from um, from G1. And um, he's somebody that, he's just a character I've always dug. And um, and I hadn't seen, I'd seen all of um, season one and the first couple of episodes of season two, but that was about it. And I was like, I didn't know Cup was on the show. And, and I'm still working my way through. I'm about episode eight or nine or so uh, of season two, and I have yet to see Cup. So I don't know if he's, you know, made an appearance late in season two or if he's going to be in season three or if they're just now making um, characters um, from, you know, uh, you know, making action figures of, of characters that are not in the show yet. I'm I'm not sure, but um, but for whatever reason, I saw a Cup in the store, and I was like, man, I really, I really think I'm going to pick that guy up. Um, then I did some research and found out that um, over in Japan, the same mold uh, is used for. Uh, he's red, and he's used for Ironhide, and Ironhide is definitely my favorite Autobot by far. So um, I was thinking, you know, maybe I'm just going to pick this guy up. I'll probably pick up Ironhide. I'll probably order him from overseas. Um, and then, you know, the more I watch, um, season two, um, there was an episode called Loose Cannons. Now that is actually the episode, um, that comes with, um, all of the, uh, the, the newer Robots in Disguise figures, Cup came with it, and one of my other figures came with Loose Cannons, but, um, I was already working my way through the season, so I'd already seen that episode, and, uh, and it was really great to see Wheeljack and, um, Bulkhead here, uh, really getting to do some more old, old school wrecker stuff. So I decided to go ahead and pick those up um, to sort of round out uh, my collection. Now, um, and it seems like Cup would fit in. He seems like he would be the leader of the wreckers, doesn't it? Doesn't it seem like he'd be an old battle hardened, uh, old wise soldier, you know, who'd seen too many battles? I don't know. It's just how it, how it is in my mind. Um, but uh, you may be wondering, well, why is Cup out of the package? Um, well, I, I also plan on doing a, um, a Decepticon episode. Um, where we look at uh, Soundwave, first edition Starscream, and Viacon, and um, and the night that I went and picked up um, um, some of these figures, I was between you know leaving work for the day and going to a night class, and I had about an hour to kill, and I picked up Cup and Soundwave and Viacon, and I had some time to kill, so I just kind of like sat in my truck and and uh, opened these guys up and got a chance to check them out. So that's why Cup's out of the package, but. His package looks like this, so you know you know what those packages look like. I will uh, mention one cool thing about him, his package. When I picked him up at Walmart, I didn't see what the prices were, um, or I didn't see they were hanging on a peg, didn't have any prices, so I went and uh, price-checked um, Cup, and even though his package says Cup, it's really funny. You guys check this out in your area, too, and see if it happens, but when I, when I did a price check on him, the scanner actually said Ironhide, so uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So um, even something hidden in the UPC... Uh, is still reading this guy as Ironhide. Um, so um, uh, I don't know whether or not I'm going to uh, order Ironhide yet. I think I am, and if I do, um, I'll do another video, and Cup will probably make another appearance uh, in that episode as well. So um, for now, let's get Cup out of the way, and um, we'll slide Bulkhead off to the side here. Um, and, uh, you know, you've got Wheeljack. There's the package. Here he is in robot mode. Uh, this kind of looks weird here. Probably won't be doing that. Uh, and who are they advertising on the bottom? Uh, Soundwave, Cliffjumper, Bumblebee. Uh, probably won't be picking up Bumblebee or Cliffjumper. I do have that Soundwave, so we'll be looking at him. Um, and uh, so that's that guy. And here is the uh, the Robots in Disguise Voyager class bulkhead. Um, uh, this is the <laughs> it's the only bulkhead bulkhead I'll, I'll probably ever own. Um, so uh, you know I've seen reviews of him and the uh, the first edition, and I, I know the pros and cons. So um, uh, this just looks really weird. Look, this is so huge. It's like unnecessary. Um, 
But you know, hey, it's 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 the one that we've gotten. Uh, it's you know, he's he's in scale with everybody else. Oh, I love that picture of Bulkhead. That's awesome. So uh, I'm okay. I mean, you know, he's going to be in scale with all the other figures, and I, I think to me that's the most important. So uh, so why don't we get these guys opened up and out of their package and uh, take a closer look? Okay, so here we have all three of the figures open up and out of their package, except for Cup, of course. He was already already freed from his plastic prison already. But um, here we have we have uh, Wheeljack. Um, we've got Bulkhead and Cup. And I have to say that I, I, I'm really pleased with the scale of these deluxe figures. Um, I, I'm glad I don't have the first edition Bulkhead because he's considerably larger. Um, and, you know, I think um, these two, I think that's a, a fairly nice scale. I mean, I think Cup may be a little larger um, to, well, whatever Bulkhead is, the Hummer Warthog from Halo thing, whatever, um, but getting him off to the side, I think these two guys, um, are in great scale with one another, um, so, some size comparisons there, um, really cool, um, so, you know, I, I, you know, most people on, on YouTube, they sort of review figures one at a time, but, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that big of a Transformers Prime collector, um, and these may be the only figures I get, um, except for maybe a, maybe a couple more. Um, so, you know, since I kind of had them all together, I figured I would just review them all together. The only thing I'm not showing here is the, uh, the sort of power riser weapon thing contraption that sort of goes on top of bulkhead. Here's his battering ram, and then this thing you can kind of, you know, push down this whole thing and his you know hammer comes out and spins this is this is useless i mean if you see here this right here looks like it was intended to go onto the back of bulkhead because this actually looks like his tailgate there's some lights there it looks very similar to this area here so um i i don't know if this part was intended to go back here somewhere at first I'm not. I'm not sure. This is very. Uh, I don't even know what to say about this. This is. It's pretty. It lights up, and it spins while doing so. Uh, other than that, this is pointless. So, off to the side that goes. Uh, uh, poor bulkhead will just have to remain weaponless, uh, unless there's some third-party uh, weapons out there. I can probably order or something. Um, so um, let's get these uh, guys off to the side here a little bit, and um, let's look at Wheeljack. I really, really like the way this, this vehicle mode looks. Um, and uh, again, one of the cool things about the uh, Loose Cannons episode is that that is actually where Wheeljack gets his um, Earth um, car mode. Uh, it, apparently, I had never noticed um, when he showed up in Season 1, he never transformed. Um, he uh, he landed in a ship and flew around in a ship, but he didn't have a car mode. So this is it was kind of cool to see him actually get one. Um, I like the uh, the paint job. I like how it has you know subtle touches and you know the color scheme of the uh, old G1 mode. Uh, I think that looks great. Nice painted detail on the back. I like this little piece right here. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I did have one complaint, uh, and I've heard this from other reviewers too, is that I I do wish that his spoiler was larger. I wish it kind of you know came out to here on each side. Um, uh, that probably would get in the way when transforming him, but maybe they can make it fold up or collapse or something. I, I think that would be, I think it would make his car mode look a lot better. So um, that's my, my only complaint. And um, one of the cool things is you can see underneath, he actually can store his two swords right here underneath. There's little notches for the, uh, the handles to slide into, you can see right there. Uh, and it just kind of tabs in on these two little black pegs right here. So um, that's kind of cool. You can also uh, insert the swords here on those same little tabs, and it, it gives you that that warthog effect that you saw on the um, the, on, the on the bottom. Uh, there's two warthog references in this in the same video review. Whoa, what about that? Um, but I, I just love the, the the scale of this car, the size of it. And I love its um, its futuristic um, angles. I love like the curves and the sharp lines. This is a really really good vehicle mode. So we'll sit him off to the side. We'll bring in Sergeant Cup. Uh, now Cup is really, really cool. Uh, you can see 
uh, the weapons here in the back. Um, you can see that uh, in the bed of the truck there is a hole, and you can see all the way straight through. Um, I've you know I've seen some people complain about this um, in in other reviews. It doesn't bother me, uh, and I'll show you why. Um, because even from this angle, uh, if you were just to set him here, you uh, you you can't see that it doesn't have a the bottom of the truck. It's, I mean, you literally have to turn him up this way to be able to see it. Um, it doesn't bother me because you, 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 you can't see it there. And you know what? It's a toy. It's not a real truck. If I bought a real truck and it didn't have a bed, it'd be useless. But, um, but you know, yeah, uh, uh, other than that, this is a really, really cool um, mold. And like I said, I'm really tempted to order the um, Ironhide version um, from Japan. The only thing about the Ironhide version that I don't like is all the stickers, the black stickers that go around in this area. I'm glad this is um, painted. God, I really hate these mech tech ports. I can't wait for this garbage to kind of go away. Uh, I'm never going to put a weapon on the side of the truck. I, who does that? Um, you can see there's two back here. Th those don't bother me because those are his feet um, and they kind of look okay and when he's in robot mode um, but they're hidden away. Uh, they're, they're not really you know as noticeable as these are. Um, like this little hood. I would love it if he had an Autobot symbol right there. That would be that'd be killer. But some nice painted detail on the front. Looks appropriately macho and manly and truck like. Um, I think there's maybe a repro label set I could get for this guy that adds some um, detailing in the back uh, and probably takes care of that Autobot symbol right there too. Uh, I am going to be making a repro label purchase after the holidays, so we'll. Um, We'll do an update when we do. There is an Autobot symbol there that is his chest. Uh, and this is sort of like the um, the fake windshield that comes down over his chest. Um, but as you can see, not a lot of robot parts when you flip it around. Uh, so there you have it. There's Sergeant Cup. So let's get his weapons and get him out of the way. And take a look at Bulkhead, my, my personal favorite of the three. Um, this guy is great. Like I said, I'm... I'm I'm really happy that um I, I never did get the um the first edition bulkhead simply just because of the size. Um I, I, I think he would have been too big. He would not have been in scale um with the other um Transformers Prime figures that I have now, so I'm really glad that I uh that I waited on that. Um and you know I've seen this in other videos. You can actually take this piece kinda like fold it under if you like, um and it doesn't hinder hinder rolling. Uh, if you wanted a clean bumper across the front, you could do that. Um, it doesn't bother me either way. Um, it looks kind of cool, you know, with it, without it, whatever. Um, looks nice. Um, rolls really well. Nice details. Again, I, there may be a repro label set out there that may help this guy with some little embellishments. Love the front of this. I just love, and I love the the robotic detailing in the uh, in the windshield right there. It's pretty cool. One of the funny things you could do, I don't know why you'd ever want to do this, but you could flip his head out. Hey, he looks like a, a kart racer. It's kind of funny. Um, but you would never want to do that. Never do that. Never, never, never. Um, so uh, there we have Bulkhead and uh, Sergeant Cup and Wheeljack. Two or maybe even three if you want to call him a wrecker. Two of the wreckers right there. So uh, let's get these guys transforming in their robot form and uh, check them out. Okay, starting with Bulkhead, this guy has got a great, great um, robot mode. I really, really like um, the way that he looks. I mean, to me, I mean, like I said, not owning the first edition, I know that there's some just inherent, like, just built-in um, advantages that that figure had. But all in all, I really like this figure. I, I really like his legs. I think that they look you know, really close to um, his... Um, um, cartoon sort of uh, counterpart. I really like the way they look. You've got some um, articulation in there. You've got the knee bend. You've got some articulation around the foot. Um, I just like the way they look. They have a really good shape to them. Um, I just think that they're. I think they're great. I, I think he's got a, a, enough heft and enough bulk, um, sort of living up to his name. Uh, and I love. Here, let me get right here real quick. How you can see this? Hopefully, you can see this. Uh, his mouth moves, so it kind of goes up and down uh, and that's a nice feature I'm glad they built that in that's really cool because uh, you can get some expression in there his head is on a ball joint so you can get you know a fair amount of um, you know range of motion but it is on this swivel pad so I mean it just kind of just fold back in from time to time peg in what's going on 
Oh yeah, this thing is, is really, um, the front bumper is just on a friction joint and it, and it does come off from time to time. Uh, and just me pressing on it a while ago was enough to sort of make it pop right off. So uh, it may tab in, and maybe that's just the problem is that I'm not doing that. Um, he is kind of open a little back, a bit back here in that back area, but um, I do think he kind of closes off well enough with this backpack area, and I kind of like his wings poking out. Maybe, you know, if the wheels folded in one more time and were more part of this area, that'd be a little, that'd be a little nicer. Um, as it is, they just kind of like poke out the back. Um, which is okay, I guess. I don't know if you can see in here. It's really dark. Yeah, you're not going to be able to. Maybe if I get it closer to one of the lights. Um, maybe not quite. But in both of his little arm areas, um, they've got these built in. It's either really, they're really springs in there, or they've got it painted to look like springs. Um, which is quite nice because it looks like his arms have huge pistons in them, which is kind of cool. It's something you would expect um, from somebody like Bulkhead. Uh, and again, you know, I really do wish I could show you uh, some weapons, but th I mean, this thing, I, I, you know, you can sort of clip his battering ram onto his arm, but that just that looks like so underpowered for for somebody like Bulkhead. It seems like his fist would do more damage than this thing does. Um, so that thing's kind of a joke. Um, and then this thing, I mean, it's just like, why even try to put this on his arm? Um, you can, um, at, per the instructions, lift up this little back area here and, and, and plug it in, uh, back here. Oh, God. Yeah, that doesn't make the figure top heavy at all. But just, I mean, uh, I just don't know. I don't know. That just, it just bothers me. So, um, those things are going back in the box. Or in the trash can. <laughs> Useless those things are. So, I really like his chest area. I like the doors swinging around to the front. And I really love this big Autobot symbol. You know I'm a huge fan of big Autobot symbols. Um, so there's no doubt about where this guy came from and who he's affiliated with. So, um, he looks great. He, he is an awesome figure and one that I'm, I'm glad he's in proper scale um, with the other figures. So, I'm really happy that I didn't get the, um, the first edition one. Um, this guy's going to look great on my shelf just like this. So, um, all right, let's get him out of the way and take a look at Sergeant Cup. So, here we have um, Cup and you can see instantly with his arm mounted cannons which are very reminiscent of, of reminiscent of iron hides from um the live action films um he he really is supposed to be iron hide um and you know for all intents and purposes he he really is he's just green now this is the only figure from what i understand that we're going to be getting here in north america i don't think we're going to be getting iron hide so um i know that he's currently available on tfsource.com for like 29 bucks but, you know, if you're not wanting to import or drop 30 bucks on a deluxe class figure, you may just want to pick up Sergeant Cup here and uh, just pretend that Ironhide's green. Now, I will say this is correct per the instructions. The instructions say to just leave his hood, because you can't close it any further, um, to leave it right there. But it looks really silly. <laughs> it really should have a swivel right here uh, in this area to swivel or to, you know, so this whole... I simply can turn around and then lay flat, but it is just on a friction joint, so you, you can just pop it off very easily, turn it around, sort of pop it back on, it's hard trying to do this with one hand, and then lay it down. So it does add another step to his transformation, but he just looks so much nicer uh, when you do it, and this is how I'll have him displayed. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, a swivel joint here would have solved that problem. Swivel around, lay down, but it is what it is. Um, I will say that the uh, the cannons, for the most part, don't stay very well in these ports. They do kind of come out fairly easily, so that may be a, you know, an issue where I may have to mod it a little bit. Um, but uh, and it is kind of hard to see his face because of um, the way the the hood sort of makes a, a you know a collar area. He almost looks like somebody out of uh, Gears of War with all the uh, the the amount of um, bulk around around his head and uh, and neck area 
But um, let's see if we brighten that up a little bit. Um, but here he is. He he looks great. He's got a, a wide range of um, of articulation in the in his lower legs, and uh, uh, he's just great. I wish there was more articulation in the hands. Um, as it is, they they are kind of static, and you have to turn the arm at the uh, at the elbow to get any sort of motion out of it. Um, but you know, for the most part, I, I'm really happy with this figure, and I really am thinking about um, importing um, Ironhide because I'm a huge Ironhide fan. And uh, I think he would be he'd be great to have a a red and black version of this guy. Um, Ironhide, however, from the, um, Takara Tomy does not actually come with these arm cannons. He actually comes with a a little gold uh, arms micron uh, figure. It's a little guy who turns into a weapon. Um, they're kind of silly. I don't really care much for them. But uh, but it's sort of a shame. So if you want these cannons on Ironhide, you have to get the Japanese version, import him. Get the American version cup, and then put these on him. It's very complicated, and you have to invest quite a bit to get a perfect version of Ironhide. But such is the plight of a collector, right? Okay, and last but not least, we're going to take a look at Wheeljack. And man, this guy is awesome. I really am glad that they decided to give him swords in the TV show. Because he really does, and I've never thought about this, he really does have a very samurai look to him. The way his face is, the way they've they've um, stylized him for the show. Um, <laughs> this guy's got a really neat transformation too, specifically in the legs. If you own this figure and have transformed him before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you've seen any other videos where people have transformed him, his legs transform in a very really neat, really neat way for a <laughs> a simple deluxe class figure. Um, one of the really cool things that um, you could do with this figure, and I'm glad that they sort of built this in. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand and don't want to. That's not going to work. Um, if you look right here uh, on his shoulders in this area, and let me move this out of the way, and right here, you will see that there's like this little curved area here where he can actually hold his swords like um, they're in like uh, like a backpack, backpack sheath or something. So uh, And they just kind of follow the contour of his body, which is kind of cool. Um, They've built that in. It does add some extra, you know, bits up here that you know now don't even look like sword hilts anymore. But uh, but it's kind of cool nonetheless that they built that in. Um, I, I I love the the angles of this guy in his robot form, and I really like the long arms. Uh, he reminds me very much of a uh, um, sound wave from um, from the Decepticons. So it looks great. Um, I'm really really happy with this figure, um, and glad to have you know two of the prime version of the Wreckers uh, in my collection. And who knows, maybe if and when um, Sergeant Cup is introduced into the show, we may come to find out that he too is a Wrecker or the leader of the Wreckers or, or whatever, you know, however they choose to uh, change it up for the, um, the prime universe. Um, uh, like I said, I'm only on about episode, I don't know, eight or nine, so I'm about halfway done almost with season two, and I uh, can't wait for season three to start up um, next year, so these guys are looking mighty tough, and I'm really glad to have them in my collection, so, um, you know, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Decepticon set here um, soon, there will be a, a, a follow-up video where we'll be taking a look at Soundwave, Vehicon, and um, first edition Starscream. So uh, you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for these Autobot Transformers Prime figures. Um, as always, you know, we're going to ask if you dug the video to drop us a comment or a like, subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want more on Grown Ups, you can always find us at uh, facebook.com slash ungrownups. Or you can check out our podcast, which you can find on iTunes or on ungrownups.com. We have a new episode that comes out every two weeks. Uh, and you want to check out our newest episode. It is um, all about The Hobbit, which we saw last night. So uh, be sure to check that out. Um, uh, I'm your host, Mark, and I really appreciate you for stopping by to check out the video. So um, until next time.